Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, uh, non-Camaro related. We're going to be installing a duckbill spoiler on this 2017 WRX. The spoiler is from 3A Motor on Amazon. Uh, so let's get to it. Alright, so before I begin, no, I did not sell my Camaro. This is my brother's car. I figured I'd help him out and install this. Um, we ordered this from Amazon. The link will be in the description. Uh, this is from 3A Motor. You can get these pre-painted. Um, the color on this 2017 is pure red, I believe. So it actually looks uh, pretty good. Uh, it's pretty affordable, so we'll see how it goes. It does come with some hardware. It looks like three uh, screws with some double-sided tape. So let's get started with uh, removing the old spoiler. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna pop the trunk. And you're going to want to remove the plastic or the uh, this liner here. There's uh, a few of these. Uh, I don't know what you want to call them, like clips of some sort. Uh, they pop out. I'm going to use a, a pry tool to get those off. All right, so this is like a two-step tab here. You're going to want to get the pry tool underneath the first part. Get that up. Once you get the first part off, you can go ahead and pop the rest of the tab. Off. Right, so now the liner's out of the way, there's two uh, bolts holding the spoiler in. I don't know if you could see up in there, there's one. And then there's another one on this side, tucked up in there. You're gonna wanna go up underneath in this opening. They're eight millimeter. And once we get those out, we can go ahead and pull the spoiler off. There's just a few clips holding it in. Alright, so now that the screws are out, we're going to go ahead and pull the spoiler off. All you do is give it a good yank, and it should hopefully come off. There's a few clips and some double-sided tape, so hopefully it doesn't give us too much trouble. Now we're going to go ahead and clean this off with some uh, automotive goo gone. There's a little bit of adhesive, and then probably wipe it off with some soap and water to clean the area. But that was pretty easy actually. There's only one one clip and or three clips, sorry, and a little bit of double-sided tape. So I have a little bit of uh, automotive goo gone here. You can go to O'Reilly, Pet Boys, whatever, Walmart, pick this up for a little bit of money and it'll uh, it'll get all the adhesive off the trunk. There's not really too much on there, so I'm not really too concerned. Um, and then we'll wipe it off with some soap and water because the new wing probably won't adhere to the metal with this chemical on it. So Alright, so I just got some dish soap and water on this on this microfiber to get the goo gone off. Uh, now that we got all the adhesive off the car, we're gonna get the residue off to let the spoiler adhere to the metal. All right, so out of the hardware bag, you have two strips of double-sided tape and uh, three screws there. Um, you're gonna wanna put one piece of double-sided tape on one edge here and one on the other edge. And I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. I got the double sided tape on the spoiler. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just go as close to the edge as you can on both sides. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now we can go ahead and put the spoiler on the trunk and uh, line it up with the bolt holes and get started. All right, so now I uh, put the spoiler on the trunk. I just peeled the 3M tape a little bit just to get the tabs to stick out on the top and bottom. And I'm gonna use the bolts to line up the spoiler before we go ahead and stick the adhesive onto the trunk. So I'm just gonna start the bolts in the hole for the spoiler. We're gonna use the same two holes as the OEM spoiler. And then we're also gonna have one more hole in the middle um, where you're gonna have to go up in through this hole. So we're just gonna go ahead and start them. We're not gonna tighten them too much though. And with the 
bolts started, we're going to go ahead and make sure this is lined up on each side before we go ahead and stick the tape. And it looks pretty even. Tighten down the screws. And there you have it. And I do want to mention I put uh, some blue Loctite on the screws. It doesn't uh, it doesn't say it's required, but it's not a bad idea with vibration from the exhaust. Just, just put the liner back in. It's the opposite of how, to, how you took it off. Just line it up. Put these tabs back in. guys so there's the final product it looks pretty good in my opinion it's not exaggerated it looks just right on there so it was pretty easy to install and pretty affordable on Amazon um, again I got the link in the description for that well guys there you have it that was the install on the uh, WRX the wing looks pretty good the paint match is good um, if that helped you out at all make sure you subscribe like comment let me know if you have any questions um, and until next time uh, stay tuned. There's more. There's more on the way. So thanks for watching.